We're unbeaten since our last episode, but still we find ourselves no higher than third. The two teams above us just will not quit. But today we take on the team above us in second place and the winner is in the box seat for promotion. So just five games left to go this season and since the last episode where we heartbreakingly lost on penalties in the cup, we've gone unbeaten again. We got a 3-2 win against Stripping in our next game before two draws that could be incredibly costly this season. A 0-0 draw with St. Poulton and then a 1-1 draw with Hartberg meant that we lost ground on the two teams above us again, but we've rallied. A 1-0 win against Vienna Sports Club, then a 3-1 victory against Kampfenberg, followed by a 2-0 victory and a 2-1 win in our most recent game, coming incredibly late on. We were 1-0 up and were absolutely battering the opposition, but then very late on, they got an equaliser, and I thought... That was our promotion chase done. But Ennis Fadani popped up in the 92nd minute, powered ahead of home after we'd gone with the most attacking formation I think I could possibly have dreamt up. And we got a vital win that has kept us in contention because at the top of the table, it is incredibly tight with just a cigarette paper between us and all tacked above us. We're both locked on 56 points. Neither of us are out of the championship race, by the way. Leafering are only three points ahead of both of us. But if we could get a win against all tacked today, then it will mean there'll just be four games remaining and we will be three clear of them. But there's more news to bring you. Let's check out the scout report on our opponents today because they are a club undergoing somewhat of an upheaval. The promotion race in Bundesliga 2 looks set to go down to the wire and the top three teams seem inseparable as they all chase promotion. Today we travel to the west of the country to take on Alta as our austria Wien side look to climb above them for the first time this season. Alta have not been out of the top two all campaign whilst we're yet to climb above third. But this week Alta lost their manager Didi Kubar who was appointed at his former club Rapid Wien. So today we're up against caretaker boss Matthias Meyer. This encounter is the epitome of a six-pointer, with the winner stealing an advantage in the promotion race. This is our biggest game of the season as Alltac host Austria Wien. So a win today would be pretty crucial, I think, in our promotion fight. But we've already done a good job at Austria Wien, I think. We're the ninth biggest spenders on wages in the division, and we've already lasted longer in the job than either of the previous two managers. They sacked Stefan Helm after just 217 days, and then former Hearts player Thomas Flogel lasted just 203 days when he was in charge. We're up to 289 days already, so we're doing a better job than either of the two gentlemen that went before us. However, it would be great if we could get another title or just a promotion on our CV, because we could do with a bit of a managerial bump going into our next job. The good news is, after selling our star player Uwe Furstenhofer to Borussia Dortmund, there was enough money in the club's bank account to go in and ask again if they would fund our Continental Pro license, and they said yes this time. I think it's going to take at least a year to complete, so I'm not expecting the boost to reputation soon from that, but we could get another promotion maybe even win the title. I'm hopeful that we could be a three-star manager by the time we start looking for jobs again. But it does mean that we're just five games to go before we start looking for jobs again. I think we might be able to get ourselves another decent job. I'm pretty pleased with the last two that we've got, but I'm ambitious. I would like an even bigger club next summer. I'm not sure there's anything available right now that particularly blows us away. Although if we were to lose today to Altac and they were to get promoted, we could always jump across and manage them next season in the Bundesliga. But I think we've got the squad that could get the job done today. I'm going to regret those words, by the way, but we are going to be at full strength. So after a little bit of an injury layoff, we're going to have old man Schick back in the team today. He's got acceleration of nine, pace of eight, his strength is down to seven, and yet he's still our starting right back. He's going to be in the team today, but good news everybody, who thought this day would come? I think we finally got two strikers that are in form currently playing for us. Enes Fadani got two goals in the last game, including that stoppage time winner, and he's in a decent bit of form. 
He's now managed to score four goals in his last three games, playing as a deep-lying forward because we've moved old Shaba Meshta down into midfield again because here is a player who is on a dismal run of form. It's now 11 games since he's been able to score a goal. We've had a bit of a chat with him, gave him the old don't worry, the goals will come. They didn't. So we've had another chat with him just yesterday saying, pull your socks up, son. You need to start scoring, even though you're back in midfield now. Otherwise, we're going to feed you to the wolves. <coughs> but we've got a second striker that's in form as well. Who would have thought the day would come when Cristiano Ivkic was banging in the goals? But we are in that territory now. He scored in each of his last four games before the last one. He still managed to get an average rating of a seven in the last game. So between our two strikers, they've got eight goals in the last five games. Will that be enough to trouble our opponents today? I'm not sure because Altac are a good team. But we're going to have to get out there, roll our sleeves up and see if we could get a vital win that's going to take us three points clear of our promotion rivals. So big game, I think, would be a little bit of an understatement today. We are the away team. It's going to be an incredibly tough game, but what a win it would be if we could secure it. And it could mean that we would be in pole position to try and get a third promotion of our mercenary career under our belts. We've not performed well for any of the games that we've bought you whilst at Austria Wien. I think we won the first one with a penalty. Then I think we bought you a nil-nil draw against today's opponents. We've also shown you a 2-0 defeat against RB Salzburg's B team before a heartbreaking penalty loss as well. So today it would be great if we could just put on a show and the man that's got the point to prove, Shabba Meshter, goes close for us early on. However, our opponents are coming at us now. John Major's got the ball over on the right wing. He's given it back to his fullback. And Pras Michel has a little header, but Kate Bush is on it. It's been a bit of a cagey opening, I think. Only two shots in the first 18 minutes. John Major's on the corners. And he has sent in a good ball and shuffle has headed it over the bar. Just the one shot for us, that early one from Meshta. We need to try and just grow our way into the game a little bit. And to that end, we've got a highlight again. We've tossed a throw in direct to our opponents. We've got to do better with the ball than this. And now Sturm is running his way unchallenged through our midfield and Kavashina is in. Kate Bush has been an absolute revelation in goal. What a player he has been this season. He should have been the hero of that shootout if we could have just put any of our spot kicks away rather than missing what, three of them in the end. Could he be a hero in the league today? He's already picked up a couple of good saves. We might need him again. John Major has been heavily involved down on this right wing. Gets the ball back to Diara. We have not really started well, have we? Do not foul there. In fact, no foul because you've just let a player run through. Play a ball inside our own six-yard box. We're a goal down already. We're going to beret early. A defeat today is going to leave us three points behind Altac. That's going to be a heck of a comeback to overhaul that. But it's not going to be without hope. Because in their very next game, Altac have got to go and play RB Leipzig's B-team leafering. So it does mean that there is a chance for us to get ourselves back in the promotion hunt because that's going to be a tough game for them. But if they were to win it, I reckon we would be completely out of the running with just three games to go by that time. We've got work to do again. Schick has won a challenge and we're under pressure again. They've got the ball down to Sturm and they're in again. Kate Bush saves us again. We are just not getting any challenges in. They are dominant against us aerially. He's winning headers there against a six foot five Yilmaz. And we are clearing them off the line now. However, here is Ivkic. He's not got a lot of support with him, has he? He's got barely anybody to aim for. He's going to go backwards. Get the ball in the box and get it in the box. And now we're coming forward, but we've gone all the way back to Schick. We're just a little bit out of ideas, I fear. 35 minutes. I still think we've only had one shot in the entire game. This is a long highlight, though. We're in. Ennis Fadani's in. Oh, goodness me. Pull the trigger, Ennis. 
four goals in his last four or five games. Have a shot, son. Have a shot. Oh, we've given it away again. They're in again. We've nudged it out again. This is all getting a little ragged around the seams. I'm going to have a little look in the tactics. Potentially just drop the tempo a little. Okay, I've brought down the tempo and made the passing a little bit shorter as well, just to try and get us a little bit more into the game, because at half time, we've been truly outclassed. Nine shots and five on target for them. We've had two efforts, neither of which have troubled their goalkeeper. I think we're in a little bit of trouble. Okay, I've thrown the water bottle at half time and got a good response out of everybody bar our right winger. So I've subbed him off for a 17-year-old who I've given his debut to and he scored on his debut. And I've bought him on now. Here he is on the ball. He's called Alexander Maurer and he's got a little cross in there. It's a deep one for Ivtich, but Furstenhofer's in. And we have got the goal back. I want a winner, a draw. Well, it keeps us in the running, but it's going to make things very, very tight. I really want to win this game. And the youngster has come off the bench, dinked in a little cross. Meshter then heads the ball to Furstenhofer. And Uwe doesn't miss those. And he runs off in celebration. And now we're in with a bit more of a chance. Let's pause the game. The shout, encourage, we're going to go for. We've got 30 minutes left in the game. The body language is looking good. The fitness is not bad. Furschenhofer looks like he might be struggling a little bit. 72 minutes gone. We're going to make another change. We've got two more to make. Let's just get some fresh legs in midfield, I think. So I think the change I'm actually going to make is going to be in our defence. Schick is playing a 6.3 on his return from injury. So we're going to bring Felix Strauss in. A centre-back, really. We're going to ask him to play right back. He's only got to get through 18 minutes. He can't play any worse than Schick. Surely. We've got a highlight again. We're not on the ball. This is nervous times. 15 minutes to go. If we have to take a draw and dust ourselves down, we will. But don't concede again, boys. Do not concede another goal. But they're through. And how good a game is Kate Bush having? He's only just averaging a seven. I feel like that's a bit of a harsh rating. 10 minutes to go. Ivekic is on a 6.3. I think this could be our final change of the day. Final change made. We've moved Meshta up front. We've taken off Ivekic and we've brought on Schmerka to play in central midfield. It's done absolutely nothing going into injury time. I was going to throw out another shout. I am going to do that. We're going to demand more. Three minutes of stoppage time to play and here is a highlight. Once more, we've given the ball away and that is a catastrophic error. He's raced clear of our defence and Bushy He's running up that road. He's climbing up that hill and he saved another one for us. The guy is an absolute hero. Can we counter now? We can't. And the game has petered out. Not a disaster. A 1-1 draw keeps us in contention. We've certainly had a better second half than we did have a first half. Do we keep morale going? We're playing a tough team. I'm going to do it. We've got four games left to go. We're going to need to try and keep morale up, I feel. And it's all going to come down to the next game, I think. Our opponents are going to go to top of the table. We've got relatively modest opposition for our final few games. And if you have a look at the table, it does look like the title is still not out of the question. Leafering have drawn their game 1-1 today. So everybody picks up a point. We all move forward with just three points separating the top three. So our final four fixtures threaten to be an incredibly nervy affair. Hopefully when we come back for our final episode with Ostravine, we've still got a chance of promotion, maybe even a chance of the title. Whilst you wait for that episode, why don't you check out this video over here? If you're struggling to find your next football manager adventure, this video might just inspire you.